Went on a week-long trip for school, which means you have to stop 40 kids on the bus and pray that no one wants to talk about because that will stay for you for the rest of the trip. Eric, no! My trip started out with a 16-hour bus ride to Colorado, which I only got four hours of sleep on, but I counted as good because some people only got one or two. Once we got to Colorado, we had an option to go to the Denver Zoo or the Denver Museum. I chose the zoo because I wanted to see the animals, and I really enjoyed it in the end. We had two hours to walk around, and we got to walk with friends as well. I had to mention that after every stop, the coaches took count of how many people were on the bus so we don't leave anyone behind. Well, after two hours, the zoo people started getting back on the bus, and after counting, they noticed one person was missing. Well, you want to guess what that one person was? Ding, ding, ding. It was me. So my friend and I accidentally got separated in the gift shop, and she went on the bus without me. Luckily, they didn't leave because 20 miles did not seem a fun length to walk. The next gate apart was the first 10 minutes of me and my group entering the hotel. It started with me tripping on my suitcase getting to our room. My friend had the key to the room, and she claimed that I couldn't get to the room without her. I said bet and started to run, which ended me tripping and flying in the air and landing on the ground. Some mentors even came outside and checked what happened. Great way to start, right? I had to mention that a little after that, we almost ran into a wall with pushing one of those car things. That's only a short summary about the crazy parts of the trip and what occurred. If you guys want to know more, comment below. Sorry that it took so long for this video to come out. I've been very busy, but I'm glad I finally got it done. Have a great day and goodbye.